Yo guys, what's going on? It's Defy here, and I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial. I mean, I've meant to do this very, very, very long time ago, and it's on long sleeve print AI jerseys. This is the template they would use to then make your jerseys into a real life thing. You put this file for a printer or however it works, and you'd have your jerseys made. So let me just first introduce myself if you're new to my channel. My name's Defy, or you can call me Nate, whichever you prefer, whichever you prefer, I don't mind. And basically I am one of the only, or I think I am the only designer on YouTube that does tutorials for apparel templates and then gives the templates out at the end, which is great, you know. Start a new trend, be one of the only people to ever do that, that's fine. So this is what I'm going to be doing in the video. I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic um, sort of design that you would then use in AI. Uh, similar to the short sleeve one I did, like the arms cut about here on the short sleeve one. This is the long sleeve version. Um, I didn't give this out last time because I was meaning to do a tutorial, but I finally got around to doing it. So I will give this template out at the end of the video as promised. And you'll be free to go and make your own designs and have them printed off yourself. The only thing I will stress though is, like I mentioned in my update video a few weeks ago, is that please don't use these templates if you're starting a business of your own, because they were someone else's to start with, and I did get in quite a little bit of trouble for giving them out and then realizing people would have been using them for their own business stuff. I mean, I don't mean I don't uh, when I say that I don't mind if you're a designer like myself and you're designing for a team and you use these that's fine what I mean is if you're starting your own apparel company and then using these templates to make your apparel on that's, that's where I'm coming from so this is the design I've got it's a pretty basic design um, I was going to use this for a team uh, teams jerseys for EGL13 uh, they stopped contact with me after they paid me, so I'm kind of a little bit stuck as to what I'm supposed to be doing now. But here's the design anyway. Um, just uh, paste along the outline here. Uh, it all matches up fine, so there's no gaps or anything. And it's quite a funky design. Uh, the text here is Orbitron, if you're a fan of what text I use. And um, this is sort of like the basic template that you'll get. Uh, the background is locked, so you don't have to, it doesn't move, but there is the background if you wanted it. And you have the back, or the front, front and back, a left arm and a right arm, and a collar. Uh, what I've been having is a lot of questions of people asking me what way the arm's positioned. I don't know whether this is a troll question, but I mean it quite clearly says left and right. So here would be the back of it. If you imagine it being three dimensional, just the front and the left arm go in this gap here and come down. So technically it would come out like that and the right arm would come out like that. So when you design here on this side, that would be if you put your arm out straight against your side, that would be where your elbow connects down there. So you people usually have logos of sponsors here and then like your team logo here for example and that would all be on the side as you're sitting down uh, I personally prefer long sleeve over short sleeve because long sleeve you can use um, you can use it as both long sleeve and short sleeved whereas you can only use short sleeve to short sleeve right that's a little bit about the history of long sleeve jerseys I'm going to show you one that I did make a while back here it is this is a design I made um, a little fair way back for um, XS card as when I was designing for XS. Unfortunately, this design never actually got used. That in itself sucks because I actually kind of liked. Um, but nevertheless, this is the design. Um, just so that this right side is a little bit thinner than the left side. You know, you just try to get it perfect. Uh, so this is the design itself, and the one thing you have to remember is, I didn't include this in my last video, and I really should have, is that when you go here, 
this button down here which is the layers which you've got color guide cooler and layers you click that little button and this is all the files and the layers you've used so like on photoshop you have the layers here that go up and down this is uh, adobe illustrates layers so here if i take the lock button off i've got all the sponsors if i close that i'll hide and uh, unhide all the sponsors the white logo in the front the text here the uh, control freak logo on the left arm all the sides to the back the left middle the right middle the left there background the front there that there as well so it's important to remember that when you're making stuff in AI that you get one the size and right and secondly that you group your corresponding layers like you want to group your sponsors together so if I just delete that I'll delete all of them and secondly that you uh, you don't oversize things um, I made the mistake once and I learned my lesson ever since I made a team jerseys and had this hex pattern going above the, the thing and when they came to printing it the hex pattern was huge I couldn't understand why it was huge I mean on the design it was tiny it was like maybe like a 5 by 5 and what I realized is what I'd done is I'd stretched it far too big and I put it on and I should have masked it better and from then on I learned my lesson and, uh, you know I didn't mess it up again so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this over dumb dumb oh. I'll press control C control N make a new page I'm gonna copy that straight in you see how big it goes when you get it on a new a new tab so, so illustrate your thing just want to drag that in there so this is what we've got for this design here and what you want to do when you're making it is you want to make the things so relatively straight edge so there's no bumps and stuff I mean these little bits sticking out is the template that I've used where it all pieces together uh, let me just find my team at the moment that jerseys are making yes and here are their jerseys at the second with the uh, stripe going down the, the sponsors I still haven't really had a chance to finish off but that would be the one that they're going to be using when I uh, eventually get it printed so that's the design you got there or we could have this design here Oh, actually thinking about it. I just want to grab that. No, I'll grab that. So they're the two designs I could go for in this video. Uh, the stripy one or the sort of thicker one here. Or that one there and so if I want to implement this one on I'll just delete that Oops. and then oh my bad Clicking on the wrong thing. You try to get that to sit over the white as much as you can, like that. I mean, that's almost perfect.
So like that, theoretically. And you stick your logo here, you stick your text here, and you stick sponsors here. So if I want to go back to accessors, and I want to grab these sponsors here. I'm going to grab that. And obviously because of the layers, you can't see it. So I just want to press this key here, or oh, no, it's not seem to come up. Oh, I want to press arrange and bring to front and keep doing it until it comes up. Unless I've got it here. Hmm. That's bizarre. got mixed in with another layer. Okay. And there we go. Just leave the careful album. Just try this control freak. There we go, there we are. So. So there we go, uh, I've added my sponsors on, whichever ones I wanted, at least, and drag that down to where I think it's alright, grab this text here, copy, and V, that, and stick a website in, like, I don't know. For example, Stick a website down the bottom, perhaps, and then I want to put something on the left arm. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in, and I paste it right on the top of the arm, about as middle centered as I can get it. Change the color of that so it's there. Then I also put the eoshlet one here instead of having something on the other one, I want to have the year logo yeah like that maybe just a little bit smaller so it's uh, equal size There we have it. And then, so all you'd want to do afterwards is you'd want to stick your layers in. In there, so all my spots are in there. And you want to sort your layers, so all the text is one, well, all the layers itself are one. And then that's pretty much it. Um, what you do after that is you go up to File, Save As. And you save it as Adobe Illustrator.ai or .eps. And you send them off to whoever's going to be making it.
so that's pretty much it guys that was a really short template uh, tutorial um, I mean there wasn't a lot else difference to change from the short sleeved one uh, the next video you'll be seeing from me is a review on some new glasses that I bought. Uh, they're a type of gaming glasses um, that, uh, that I use. Um, other than that, guys, um, if you like the video, obviously, please leave a like. Um, I'm getting very, very close to 200 subscribers. I'm at 171 at the moment. Uh, views are getting up and up and up. And... Um, I'm really, really enjoying all the support that I'm getting at the moment. It's really, really, really fantastic. Uh, so remember, if you enjoyed this, leave a comment. If you need some help as well, I'm more than happy to help you. Um, just in case of whenever I get around to work, getting on it. Uh, just a quick update where I'm going to be with videos. Um, I'll be away for four days next week. I'm going off to London. I leave London just at G3 starts. Jesus, what poor time was that? Uh, and then I am um, starting work at the start of August, so I'll be adjusting my time around that. Um, other than that, I won't be leaving you guys hanging. I will be getting some videos done and then bringing them out whenever I can. Uh, this has been Defy as always. Stay fabulous. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.